Hello there and welcome back to my boat shed. My name is Panu and I am building this 15 meter or 50 foot cruising sailboat from scratch here in Winterish Finland. As you can tell, I still have my overall. It has been a pretty cold week, but still spring is coming and we're preparing things so that we can start the planking of the boat this summer. In previous video, we got the bulkhead here installed and after that I actually yesterday installed the last frame of the boat. So now every frame of the boat is on its place and there is really no loose items anymore here. So I think in this video we're continuing to prepare things for making the side beams and the keel timber. There's a couple of things involved with that and uh, let's take a little bit of an uh, overview of what's happening. So the boat will have three longitudinal beams to kind of tie everything together. And two of them are gonna be here on the sides. So this cavity here and there is where the side beam will go all the way from the stem to the stern of the boat. And we're gonna laminate that from not very thin, but maybe one centimeter thick boards and we're gonna attach them to the frames here and also to the side deck. So the side deck is not uh, level. The side deck in this position, it raises towards the back so that eventually the side deck will have a small angle to the stern so that possible water that will eventually come to the deck will flow backwards. So the side beam will be just underneath the side deck here. And then the third beam is of course the actual keel timber that will go over there. But I think we're gonna focus now first of these side beams. Things are mostly ready for installing them, but here in the front there's a little bit of things to do. First of all, now when I glued this bulkhead in, there's some squeeze out epoxy here, so I need to sand again this what Kimmo did in last video already. Sorry about that, I did a new mess here. But also we need to do a little bit things for the stem piece. So this is the backside of the stem and the beam will come in here and connect to the stem somewhere around here. And I want to have a good connection from the side beam to the stem. So we actually need to make a, some kind of a joint in here. I haven't yet measured anything, but uh, I think they will connect somewhat like here and kind of go a little bit to the stem piece in this area. So we need to do this cavity here and kind of prepare things and measure a little bit and things like that here in the front. Then we of course need to mill all the material. I have the pile of material here. This should be enough for both of those side beams. The keel timber material is over there, waiting in separate pile. But we actually started the process already before Christmas, and this pile has just kind of been laying here since. And uh, yeah, we need to plane these down to proper thickness, and then we need to make them just wide enough to go into these slots here. So the width is something like uh, maybe 15 centimeters. I need to measure that. But anyway, one board is not wide enough. We need to have one board and then smaller board on top of that and then kind of change them every layer. So yeah, a little bit of fiddling with this, but uh, I think it's all right. But what I will actually start doing right now is to get my old friend and start shaping these things. So I need to shape, of course, these glued things on their proper shape with the hull shape and then we need to make the slot for the keel timber and that's where this comes in. So you, here you can see the slot for the keel timber. It is already in these frames of course but there is these laminations here and there on the center that we need to make the slot again. It was just too difficult to kind of laminate these separately on both sides. So I instead just laminated them through and now we're gonna make that slot 
with some different methods using chainsaw and uh, planer and maybe some other tools and uh, yeah shouldn't be difficult but maybe a little bit labor intensive Alright, now it's a few days later, last weekend I shaped that front section there, it's now almost done. I will do the final shaping when we start to actually fit the planking. That's good for now and the slot for the keel timber is already done there. Next I need to make the middle section there, but now I also started to put in the side beam here. There's now a couple of pieces dry fitted and this will of course consist of two boards side by side like this and the next layer will be other way around so the uh, more narrow piece will be on the underside and the wider here. Then I need to make uh, scarf joints to make them longer of course but uh, overall this looks pretty good. The fit is quite nice and I cut this in a proper width and uh, then I just need to put these through the thickness planer to make them uniformly thick. So that's pretty basic actually, nothing really kind of uh, really special. Uh, we're gonna of course clamp and screw them into these frames. There will be glue joint here in the bottom and of course between the boards. But uh, it's gonna be quite a big job to laminate this because <laughs> it's the whole length of the boat, of course. And I'm kind of thinking to make this in sections. Uh, but we'll see. Maybe, maybe two layers at a time or something like that would be good. We'll see. I have to think about that a little because in one go, I just it just might be too much to do because there's going to be a lot of epoxy in here and it will kick uh, before we get everything on their places. So we need to make, make this in sections, I believe. So, But I think that's all right. But it, at least two layers at a time so that we can get this form right to screw them together as well as into these frames because, of course, they are bent a little bit. Quite a gentle bend, but uh, still and uh, with two layers, they will kind of compensate each other with me in the frames here. But yeah, I think they look quite nice. Quite nice, and I now, now uh, continue by cutting a little bit more of this stock and then start the thickness planer and make the stuff ready. But uh, yeah, one detail. So here in the front, I made this little uh, cavity here or slot to put these beams in there. Uh, it's not uh, wide enough just yet. I need to widen it just a little bit to make a good fit there, but uh, other than that, it looks good. Maybe some off from there as well. It can be a little bit too big, too wide. We're gonna fill, fill the rest with epoxy, but the other beam will come from this angle, of course, here. And this is the keel, uh, no, the stem, of course. So yeah, they will connect here and kind of join together here. 
All right, it's another weekend during this late last week. I have been kind of having hour then hour now doing the side beam here. And there is now the first layer kind of dry fitted. And, and there is some one issue before that I want to show you. Spider. Hello. Anyway, there's now two, two pieces there. I made this slot here on the stem. I think I showed you that already, I don't remember. But uh, now there is two pieces here. Try fit it. The first one is the wide one, second one is a little bit narrower. They fit quite well there. You can maybe see like that. Of course, they will be against here like that. But uh, what I did during the week, I did a scarf joints or tried to do scarf joints. And uh, if we take a look at here, here is the uh, smaller one. The scarf joint is okay. I think I can live with that. Uh, something like that. But for the wide pieces, uh, let's take a look at here. For the wide pieces, I'm not really satisfied with this result. It's not good. And that's because I made them with my just uh, chop saw. This is in a uh, 15 degree angle and it kind of makes 15 degree angle. When I put the board here, it cuts it in a certain angle. That's all right. But the wide pieces, they don't really fit here well enough. So that's why I did this. I made this with the CNC, some plywood, and this is now the jig for making scarf joints with my brand new router. There is simply just this kind of doodad that slides up and down in here. And you put the wood in there and cut the scarf joint in there. And that should be pretty simple and pretty okay. So now I'm going to do the scarf joints again with this thing and see what happens. I need to figure out how to get rid of this flex. But uh, yeah, uh, pretty simple. There's plenty of uh, examples on, online of things like this. What I'm really keen about is to use this one. Uh, this is brand new, Bosch sent it to me. Never used. It's so clean and nice. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this fits right in there. And yeah, now I just make the scarf joints and see what happens. I'm hoping to get all the pieces for at least this side made today. What I need to do with them is, uh, first of all, the whiteboards are uh, ready to go, pretty much. But those narrower ones, I cut them from those a little bit wider. So there's two pieces comes from every, every one of those. So I need to cut them in half with the pencil here. And then I, of course, need to plane them in certain thickness to get rid of the cutting marks. And uh, yeah, it's really not straight enough from this thing. So I need to plane them. And I think I'm gonna sand the surface a little bit to kind of get rid of the shiny surface because that is a structural thing. I want to make those as well as possible. And of course they are much wider, so they don't flex that much compared to the slats I used with the, with the frames. They were bent much more. And uh, yeah, the kind of if there was some in irregularities, it just went through in there, but there is much less kind of layers in this one. So the surface needs to be pretty good to make it good. So yeah, let me continue with the, this thing and we'll see if we can get the glue up done during this weekend, at least some of it.
All right, it's later next week. During the weekend, I got all the materials for these beams planed in the size. They're over there waiting. And now during this week, I haven't really been able to do much, but uh, now I have had a couple of hours and I prepared first two layers for the first beam. So these beams will have five layers in total. There's now just two and it consists of this wide piece and the narrow piece and they go of course on that side it's in different order so no seams will go at the same spot of course and then there is these scarf joints as well and and uh, i'm gonna have to do these in sections because it's <laughs> quite large job to glue and uh, i actually made a little bit of a calculation that when there is these five layers, there's all, of course four seams in between and there's two pieces in every layer and three of these wider and four of these narrower in longitudinal. I calculated there's uh, 225 surfaces to spread the glue into. So that's kind of a big job, <laughs> I think. And then there's of course 100 of these scarf joints so yeah uh, it's a little bigger job than I first thought maybe that's true for everything with this boat or this project overall but uh, the problem really is that I have to finish this video right now to be able to publish it tomorrow tomorrow is Friday anyway this was now maybe a little bit of a boring video not much have been happening but I'm really happy that I got this this here done that one is still waiting I have been really really busy late last couple of weeks I have a couple of uh, major deadlines with my work so these things have to wait that so far I'm quite pleased how this turns out and uh, I just have to think a little bit how to spread the glue there efficiently and not to make a horrible mess because if I just spread the glue and there is a lot of squeeze out on the other side then I need to wait the glue to cure and then I need to sand all those surfaces before I can make the, another layer on top of that so that's kind of an uh, issue. So yeah, I, I need to think about that a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna finish this video now. In coming Saturday, I will have the whole day just making this thing. Maybe to glue at least part of the first side and go from there. And hopefully get some help with, with this thing. Because if there's another pair of hands to help, that, that really makes it more easy. But yeah, we'll, we'll see about that. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and huge thanks for my patrons. If you want to join them, the link is down there in the description. With a little monthly subscription, you can help me to build this boat and make these videos. Next time, we will definitely glue some things in here and maybe do some other things. Not any promises right now, but uh, I'll try my best. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.